This is my please work face because I just recorded a nine minute screen capture and I hope it works. All right guys, so I kind of sucked. I lost the whole thing. All right, today I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna log torque converter slip and trans slip. So there are a couple PIDs we gotta add. First thing I'm gonna do is go through and add the channels. So all the channels I'm gonna need are, I'm just gonna type in shaft. We got input shaft RPM, output shaft RPM. We're going to log the trans calculated gear ratio. And I'm gonna log TCC slip. So TCC slip and angular frequency, this will give it to you in RPM. So those are the channels that need to be added to the list to do this, the way I'm going to do it. So next I'm going to go and I'm going to add, I'm just going to add another group. So this little button here, add group, we'll add another group down here and then I'm going to add two series to this fourth group down here. So the first one I'm going to add, I'm going to insert the new series. This is going to be my TCC slip. TCC slip angular frequency. This will show it in RPM. I'm just going to change this one to orange color. And I'm going to set this to 3000 RPM max and make sure the unit is in RPM. So we'll call this one TCC slip. So now that that one's done, I'm going to go through and I'm going to add a user defined math parameter, which I already created. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So, the user defined math parameter for transslip, I'm going to add that thing and make sure the unit is in RPM. I'm going to set this one to 1000. I'll just leave the color white. And this one is TS for transslip. So we'll go trans slip. So that should be good. And just to verify that it works, I'm gonna turn the key forward and start to scan. And I should see some numbers populate right here if I, if I did it right. So we got zero, I'll start it. stop the scan. So I started, you can see uh, the slip kind of comes up from the torque converter because it's engines running and not moving. It's not moving. So this is basically the difference between RPM, engine RPM and trans input shaft speed. And the transmission slip was high because engine input shaft is spinning. But then when I put it in gear, it drops down to zero. And I'll explain that. All right, so, the, so for the transmission slip RPM, this is the user-defined math parameter that we created and put in down here. So to create it, we go up to Tools, Math Parameters, and you just create one of these slots. These are all different maths that I created. Um, trans slip, so we have trans slip, abbreviation was TS, that's why I put in TS when I initially entered it in there. And this is transmission slip calculated using gear ratio. So I'll delete this thing. This is wrong because I kind of fussed with it before. So what we're going to do is add a new variable. Go to insert. I'm just going to search for shaft. And then trans input shaft RPM. And then we're going to divide the little slash divide by I'll search for gear trans calculated gear ratio so what this is going to do is this is going to give us a target input shaft RPM for every gear that we're in so we have something to relate it to for every gear that we in. So we have something to compare it to for the output shaft speed. 
So this is going to go input shaft speed divided by current gear ratio, and that gives you a target input shaft speed. So you have something that you can subtract your output shaft speed from to give you the difference of your target input shaft speed at the time in each gear minus your output shaft speed. So you have that section. We're going to add parentheses now because this is one part of the equation. This is like basic math stuff, guys. Hopefully you're following me. So this is one part of the equation. And now what we want to do is subtract the output shaft speed. Trans output shaft RPM. So now what this is doing essentially is this is using the first part of the equation. It'll give us our target input shaft speed, which is going to change it now because we added the gear ratio. Every gear, one through three, it doesn't really work in four because you're dividing by a number less than one. But one through three work, which is good for drag racing one through three, and you want to see where your slip is at. So this first part of the equation is calculating what your target input shaft speed is going to be for every gear that you're in. And then you're going to subtract your output shaft speed. So essentially, these should be matching. Your input shaft and your output shaft should be matching zero whenever the transmission is not slipping. So if this number is less than the beginning part of the equation, that is going to be your slip. So there's your calculation.